I, I, I saw this a couple of times on TikTok, and it this is like a good trip down memory lane. And it was how hard MVP's entrance was. One, Bro, yeah, two, he used to come out of the tunnel. In the inflatable tunnel? Yeah, dude. Dude. One, Imagine. two, you hear the clock ticking. Tick, tick, Three, ta, four, four, and you burst out okay. missing. Oh. Tick, ta, I want you to remember me. Tick, ta, when the days are running again. I'm coming. Nobody can stop me. Nobody can hold me. Nobody can control me. I'm coming. I'm here to bring Falling. the pain. I'm here to do my thing. and never, ever gonna change. Oh, he had I'm the coming. chain, too? Yeah. That was crazy. Man. Bro, Dude, MVP get, was great. Let's get MVP on television again, man. Yeah, I mean, I think real. he's a great manager. Um, he's hilarious, bro. He's great. Yeah, he's and he's great. like looking back on it. Uh, you realize. Dude, his he had a really good run with that U. Like his U.S. title one yeah. was really good. Yeah, like, him and Matt Hardy's feud was like honestly like one of the better, <laughs> one of the best feuds of that era. Oh yeah. If, like easily when you look back on it dude like when i think of matt hardy foes like mvp uh, dude mvp comes to mind so I mean, quickly dude, that was in like like the middle of like our upbringing and us yeah. like watching wwe man that yeah, was we're the like best. 10 early yeah. 9 so it was like perfect age dude and he had a good run in New Japan, also, which like a few weeks ago, um, I, we did a, I did a video on like WWE wrestlers who wrestled for New Japan, and he wrestled for them for like two years. Uh, it was like 2011 to 2012, hmm. and he like he competed in the World Tag League and he competed in the G1 Climax, and oh, he yeah. like faced a bunch of. He's the first I, IWGP Intercontinental Champion, which I did not know. Very cool. Um, so yeah, shout out to MVP. 